Hello Aquarius, we're getting started with your reading. Thanks for stopping by. I want to welcome everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Your energy for this reading from your forefathers, from your ancestors, is trust in the unknown, sky father energy. From the energies oracle, we have feeling the world. You're really supposed to tap into your emotions at the present time, Aquarius. Really, really being uh, willing to look at the unknown. And let's see where the oracle of the shamans is taking us. Root girl, the disowned self. So it really speaks to the fact that you need to do a little bit of inner research, so to speak that whatever's happening in your love life right now you may reflect that you need to allow your intuition and spirit to guide you and get out of your head, get out of your logic. Your logic looks like it could be erroneous at this time. So let's see here, we are opening with the Three of Swords in the recent past. Your energy currently, Aquarius, is a Hermit card. Virgo energy, Libra energy, really speaks to you searching for answers, trying to find the enlightenment. You know, this is going to the mountain, going within and really looking for the answers that you seek esoterically, emotionally, spiritually. The Seven of Swords says that you were dealing with someone in the recent past that was dishonest, not to be trusted, to be perfectly honest, somebody who really likes to, is a, I call that the sneaky peek card, you know, somebody who might surveil your phone, somebody who might drive by at night, somebody who's just not really willing to play in the light. They're under the moonlight and there's these crows and they're trying to warn you about this person. The Aries King, or excuse me, the Aries Emperor says that that is where you're at right now. You are very powerful right now, Aquarius. You are going to make all the right moves. You're holding a chess piece. You wanted to know the truth. You got to the bottom of the truth. Something that you suspected was going on beneath the surface with a significant other has come to light. The Eight of Coins, very interesting energy. You're very strategic here very strategic. You have a lot to say to someone about their job. You have a lot of information that they didn't count on you gathering. The Eight of Coins says that you are enlightened. You have all the tools you need to continue moving forward in your life. The Ace of Wands says that you are going to throw caution to the winds for a passionate new beginning in love. Your outcome card for this reading. Oh, wow, Ten of Pentacles. Well, how on earth do we get from there to there? All right, so we are going to dig in and find out. We're going to get to the bottom of this mystery. So, Aquarius, let's see what the Three of Swords is in the recent past for you. What is the Three of Swords? Why is it here for Aquarius? What was so heartbreaking? There was a third party situation or heartbreak of some sort. Tell us, Spirit, why that is here. Tell us more about it. Okay. Two of Wands. You felt that you were at a crossroads with a lover. You felt as though it was um, time to claim a victory in love. Seven of Wands. Somebody feeling very defensive about this energy. Somebody really feeling defensive. So why do we have the Seven of Wands here? The Two of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands. This is all fire sign energy. It's Aries and Leo energy. So why do we have all of this fire sign energy around this heartbreak? The Nine of Swords, it's keeping you awake at night. It looks as though someone may have been texting or communicating with a friend or somebody they claim to be a friend. You're now finding out that they have plans to get together. 
there's some sort of reason that your intuition was telling you that. But you were really trying to hold on to the idea that this person was really, you know, going to be true to you. We have Leo energy. You want a victory in this situation. The Hermit card says that in your heart space and in your the present energy that you have right now, it looks like your lover has not given you a heads up. It looks as though whatever is going on over here is still a secret. They do not know that you know. They feel they're, it looks like they're playing almost like, hey, everything's fine. We're in good shape. But the Page of Swords, they do know that you've been on the internet. They do know that you are on the internet a lot. The Page of Wands, they may even tell you that they reached out to someone or they heard from someone as a way of covering up that there is an ulterior motive in this situation. Ooh, Aquarius, you really do need to know this information. The shadow side says that your person really is, they know what they're doing. They're aware that what they're doing is wrong. This is, they are taking actions that are devil energy actions. It's very toxic. The lying is toxic. They're being manipulative. They don't want to give you up. And they aren't yet, yet ready to leave the relationship. So they're leaving you in this really strange place. In fact, you, the two of you have even talked about marriage. So why is this person being so shifty? Why is your person being so shifty? The judgment call, a decision was made to start a passionate beginning with someone else. All right, the person that you, your lover or significant other, husband, whatever it is, wife, whoever, looks as though for some of you there's a marriage here, either for the third party situation and or a marriage now that is in jeopardy, either through the planning stages of thinking that you're going to become engaged and married or for an actual marriage. So for many of you, there's a there's different elements to this story. Take it as it resonates. Let's see your energy here. You've got this emperor energy. Page of Pentacles, you are going to pay attention. You're not going to say anything to this person. Wow. For many of you, you will not speak out at this time. It looks like you're getting ready to. Let's see, what else do you know? Why do we need to know? the emperor is here. The emperor has a chess piece. The queen of swords energy says that you will cut anybody or anything out of your life that doesn't serve you or that has a negative impact on you. Let's see what we have. We have a lot of cards. It came flying out. All right. We have the energy of, oh, so now we have two queens. We have the wheel of fortune. We also have the chariot card reversed. Okay, so when we see chariot, you know, as is above is below. But now when it's reversed, things are not what they appear to be. You're really going through it now. Five of cups energy. You are just feeling like your person. And we have Pisces, or excuse me, Scorpio energy, the, the Scorpio king here. You're really feeling like you just can't trust this person. This is a nightmare for you. It's a nightmare here, it's a broken heart, it's sadness, it's things are not as they appear. You are, Spirit is saying that it's very lucky that you found this out now, okay? It does appear that there is some a wealthy woman or someone that your person is uh, connected to that uh, is interesting to them for what they can get from the relationship not necessarily what they can give the relationship. Let's see, why do we have the Eight of Pentacles here? All right, so Aquarius, you are really struck by the fact that you think your person is trying to have a relationship with someone in which they are financially taken care of. Strange, okay. You feel as though your person hasn't told you yet. 
I have to tell you, some of you may be engaged to this person. So this is really important information. It is really important for the Aquarius who are on the verge of marrying somebody that really may not be who you think they are. So the world card says that your person wants to close out a cycle, but they also want to hold on to you. So hence, that's why we have this person sneaking around. It's like they're trying to figure out how to play. It's almost like a con game. Like, okay, who should I marry? Who has the most money? Who is going to take the best care of me? Ooh, I don't like this energy. Aquarius, we would have called this gigolo energy years ago. The tower card, you're going to bring the tower moment down for this person. You have the queen of swords over here, I believe, and you're going to bring a tower. Why do we have this here? Player energy, knight of wands. You're going to call them out. Straight shot, call them out. Eight of pentacles. It is. It does look like it's somebody at work or it's somebody they know through work. The ace of swords, you see the truth totally clearly. They can't deny it. Um, they'll try to deny it. Why do we have the tower card here? This person was very foolish. This person was very, very foolish. They took it for granted that you would be oblivious. Why is the Ace of Wands here for how your, your hidden energy? You took action you, to find out the truth. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Very good. Gemini energy. Good for you. Why did you instinctively know this was going on? What is it that tipped you off to this energy? Temperance card. Interesting. Your person seemed very calm, but they were not speaking. It's almost like they went from being someone who was quite quite outgoing with you and talking to you a great deal to DEF CON silence. The DEF card is on top of the Scorpio King card. So you really intuited, you just thought things are out of balance here. Something isn't quite right. This person really isn't talking about the future. The two of you have talked about the future quite a lot and what you were going to do. You have been making plans. If I'm reading this correctly for most of you, that is what I'm getting. It looks as though you thought this was full speed ahead when the reality is that this person was never going to be on board with this. Two of Swords, they're closed off to you. Spirit says you should be closed off to them. Ten of Wands, drop the burden. Aquarius, drop the burden. Why is the Ten of Coins here as your outcome? You are going to have your happily ever after. The Eight of Wands says that that's Sagittarius energy. So it does speak to the larger picture here that you are going to have a happily ever after marriage. And it looks as though you're moving away from this person. So it's so amazing. It's almost, it's such an interesting reading because this person betrayed you. You could tell from the subtle hints and, and tips that you could see it was coming you're able to gather enough intelligence to call them out. Spirit says, ignore them. Honor the fact that you fell in love. You know, be in your integrity about your honest emotions, but give up the burdens, give up the toxicity. And this person had started to bore you. Uh, as they withdrew from you, you were beginning to be bored with the relationship. You felt as though you were this pretty, pretty, you know, blonde person leaning in, talking to them, and they were not really giving you the same level of attention. It got your spidey senses going, Aquarius. It really did. And here you are, moving off in a different direction, leaving this person because they put you in a third-party situation, and yet you're moving into... <laughs> You're moving into marriage. Why is the Ten of Cups here? What is this about? The Queen of Cups, you're gonna have your love. You love so deeply, Aquarius. And what we're seeing here is that this is nothing but a mere hiccup, although it feels like it is a tower moment. It really speaks to the fact that you have some sort of 
comfort with this. You had suspected this person was like this for many years, but you were really not able to catch them at it. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. That's basically, you know, an energy of being, it's a snake in the grass. It's somebody that you don't deserve to have in your life because you're coming in here with this beautiful, honest energy. You are getting married. You are getting married, and it is very like, likely to be someone with whom you will collaborate with on a project, a creative project. And the moon card says it would be very hard for you to believe this. But this is a predictive energy. This is not a status quo reading. This is a future. The, here you are, Aquarius, in your own reading. You just absolutely feel confident that you will have an investment with somebody else. The Three of Pentacles says that you've had many opportunities during your relationship with this person to date other people. So there is a part of you that's pretty confident here. Let's look and see what the Lenormand deck says about your person because we've got that energy. I'm going to pull that for the Three of Swords. Tell us about this Three of Swords. Tell us about the Three of Swords across. This person just absolutely violated everything that they told you they believed in. This person had a good sales pitch about, you know, about making proper choices being true blue. Let's see what else we have going on here in this reading. Why? Tell us about the new person. The key, the key to happiness is somebody who's new. That is a very big key. It's very beautiful energy. Um, I'm going to take this to the extended. This is, I really want to see what's going to happen here. I'm going to have to pull up the cards because I use so many. I want to give you a really, really meaty, extended, that speaks to the reason that you're going from, you know, one planned marriage or a, it looks like a planned marriage. I don't think you were actually married to this person. And why leaving this person at this time brings you in to the energy of your soulmate and your happiness and your contentment. So I'm going to leave it there for now. Aquarius, thank you for joining me. My gosh. See you in the extended. Otherwise, hopefully soon in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.